Hey guys, this is Modic here and today let's unlock the bootloader of the Redmi Note 5 Pro. It's a fairly simple process but it's a time consuming one so make sure that you follow all of these steps correctly. So to unlock the bootloader of the Redmi Note 5 Pro you need to first apply for unlocking permissions from Xiaomi. If you've done this before you probably have all of the permissions but if not you have to apply for the same. So go to the website linked in the description box and log in with your credentials. I would recommend you to use a mobile number based account and not an email id based account. Why so? I'll explain that later on. Then you will be greeted with a form. So fill up the details and write why do you want to unlock the bootloader on your phone. You need to be as authentic as possible because Xiaomi can reject your application if they want to. Once you submit the form, you need to wait until Xiaomi sends you a notification saying that your account has been approved for unlocking. This may take a couple of hours or even days. For me, it was a matter of about 10 hours. Now once you have the permission, go to your Redmi Note 5 Pro. Here go to settings, about phones and click on the MIUI version for about 7 to 8 times. This will enable developer options on your phone and you can find this inside the additional settings tab. Now log in into your MIUI account on your phone. Make sure that it's the same one that you signed up with on the unlocking website. Also put the SIM card of the same number that you registered with in your phone. This might be an optional step but I did it and you should also follow it just in case. Now you need to download a VPN app like Plex VPN to use China servers. You can download Plex VPN from the Google Play Store or you can use this VPN app that I found on one of the forums. Install it and then select China Line 2 in the server option. Now go to settings, developer options and check the OEM unlocking options. And now you should go to the unlock status option and click on add account and device. This will bind the device to your MIUI account. Once that is done successfully backup all of the data on your phone to your PC or laptop because this process is going to wipe your phone completely. Now on your PC download the Mi Unlock tool and extract the zip file. Here you can install the Mi drivers if you don't have them on your PC. So just right click on the icon, run it as an administrator and the tool will do the job. Once that is done, you need to run Mi Unlock tool as an administrator and here you need to log in with your MIUI ID. Log in with the same ID that you signed up with earlier. It will check if you have the unlocking permissions or not and then it will give you instructions on how to connect your phone to the PC. So power off your Redmi Note 5 Pro, press the volume down and the power button until you see a fast boot logo. Now connect your phone to your PC. The Mi Unlock tool will detect it and then it will ask you to grant unlock permissions. Once you do that, it will start unlocking the phone and within 5 minutes the process should be done and your phone should reboot. Do note that if you try it with an email based account, it might show you an error saying that you need to try after 360 hours or something. So if that happens to you, you will have to either wait or try another account. I had success with the mobile number based account and not with the email id based account so I suggested that. Once your Redmi Note 5 Pro boots up, you can now set it up and congratulations you finally have unlocked the bootloader on your phone. This will enable you to do a lot of things like root your phone, flash custom recoveries and so on. I've actually rooted my phone as well. It was a complex process for now but if you want a video about that then please let me know and I'll publish it. I actually tried enabling the camera 2 API as well to check out the Google camera mod but it's crashing the front facing camera in third party apps. So if you still want a video about routing the phone then please let me know down below in the comments. I'll make sure that I publish the video. If you have any other questions about this tutorial then please let me know in the comments or you can also send your questions on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. So that's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed watching it then please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. And you can also share this video and for more such tutorial videos you need to subscribe to the channel, hit the red subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on my new videos. That's all for now, thanks for watching and I'll be back in your notifications very very soon. Peace.